We don't have much time left. The moon is growing ever closer and I think it's going to make impact soon. I have tried everything that I possibly could to stop all of this that is happening right now. You know, I started a cult. That's generally the first plan of action. That's the first idea that comes to my head. And surprisingly, that did not work. I was 100% certain that that was going to work and the moon was going to decide, you know what, these guys love me. I, I think I'm gonna head out. But no, it just kept coming closer and now the moon is stealing our blocks. Look, they're not even coming back down anymore. They're like, they're traveling off. The world is actually leaving us. So then of course, if the cult fails, then you do the next logical thing, which is try and explode the thing that you originally created the cult for. And I mean, if I was 100% certain that the cult was going to work, I was 1000% certain that the missiles were going to work. But then, well, well, we missed. The missiles missed. Which, by the way, can I just mention, putting the word miss in something that is specifically designed to hit an accurate target, that, that's, that's pretty stupid. People were laughing at the fact that the acronym for the Lunar Obliterating Launcher is the fastest astronautical into space long-range explosion device is LOL it failed, but really, the word missile is stupid enough. I don't have to spend hours poring over dictionaries and thesauruses to come up with this ridiculous name. I could have just stuck with missile. That would have done the job. Regardless, I'm getting carried away here. I guess there is one positive to take from this whole missile situation, which is it created by far one of the most chaotic and hilarious moments I've experienced. And can we not forget that one moon did die. We did manage to kill off one moon. It's just it was the wrong moon. It was the lovely moon. Yeah, the, the one that's not causing any issues and is actually making, making the Hermitcraft server a better place. Unlike Big Moon over here. Big old moon boy. So with both of my incredibly ingenious and faultless plans faulted, uh, now it is time to crack on with plan C, which is just escaping. Just getting out of here. Scar has taken all of our diamonds, which for me is actually mainly just copper and stone bricks, and he has put it into creating this rather gorgeous rocket ship. I mean, this, this is incredibly pretty. I mean, of all the things to escape on, this is escaping in style. Like, this is, this is seriously fancy. Where am I? I just did like a triple front flip and now I'm lost. Look, I mean, I love the boat and private jet as much as the next guy, but this, this is gorgeous. Like, this is totally beautiful. But you see, because we're escaping due to impending doom, it probably makes sense that we actually take a quick look at the things that we've constructed here before we leave it all behind forever. <laughs> I've just noticed Scar left behind my copper blocks and stone bricks. It's unbelievable. Is my stuff not good enough for you, Scar? I'm in my right mind not to get on his ship now. I mean, the thing's made of copper blocks. He could have at least used them in the build. Oh, the world really is disintegrating. Right, let's take a quick look around before my base goes missing. I've said it a million times, so I won't labor on the point, but I am incredibly, incredibly proud of how this whole thing came together. I just, I absolutely love this build. It's by far my favorite Minecraft build I have ever worked on. I just, I just, I, I love it. I love just walking around in the paths when I'm stuck for ideas. I literally just wander around. I get so much inspiration from this place. I'm just, yeah, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this thing. And our temple dude up on the top, the Peace, Love and Plants temple, that really is just a finishing touch. Without that, there was just something missing. Now that it's in there, it's just, it, it's come together so well. The custom trees, I've even put me, me. I put custom trees on a build that Scar made. Me, <laughs> I mean, what on earth? Nobody! It's like the biggest plot twist of all of Hermitcraft Season 8. That is, that's still baffling to me. It's just, I don't know, I feel like I've grown so much during this season and it's just been, it's been such a cool experiment. It's been a whirlwind, we've done so much in such a short space of time. There's just, there's been so much variety. I mean, look, we've got, we've got trees up, we've got my little tiny house set up, we've got Harmless Harvests, my first ever somewhat successful shop in Hermitcraft history. We had the Potato Boy Tater Vendors, we've got the Wonder Wall, there was the Tree Wall, that's how, that's how trees actually came about. I forget about all this stuff, it seems like so long ago, but also so recent as well. We've got the fancy meeting room with the Mumbot potato dispensing advice giver that eventually replaced me, which, yeah, I don't know whether to love or hate this guy, to be honest with you. Let's be real though, I was a pretty terrible CEO and an even worse janitor. So I don't think I'm deserving of any jobs, really. I mean, even little things that led to so much fun, like the ender pearl catching thing to stop people falling into the bottom hole and dying. I mean, me, Pearl, Scar, and Impulse just had such a blast with that thing. I know this sounds weird, but I find it crazy that these guys are still farming potatoes. Like, I, I put these guys in place maybe in the first week of Hermitcraft Season 8. They're still here. 
and they're still farming away, producing potatoes left, right, and center inside their gigantic potato -y room. I still love this place, actually. I used my potato face for reference on the walls. I mean, that's when you know it's a good build. Sports horses. Sports horses, it's been fun. It's been fun. You've led to a lot of laughs, a lot of drifts, and a whole lot of speeding tickets. They, they've cost me a fortune. Now, even though I was focusing a lot more on building and details, there are a handful of cool farms that I constructed, including this ghast farm, which is just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's all peace and quiet on the nether side, but if I log in with my camera account and see the other side where the ghasts are, this doesn't seem very peace loving plants. This is like the least peace loving plants farm I can possibly think of. Goodness gracious me. I don't think there's a worse noise. Oh, actually, there might be. This, this one could be worse. Is this a worse noise? I mean, the, the, the gas definitely go through your ears a little bit more. You know, it's definitely like it's in the center of the brain. But this, there's just a special kind of awful to the sound of an enderman dying. This farm is ridiculously efficient, though. It generates so many ender pearls. Totally unnecessary because I don't really need that many ender pearls. I don't tend to use ender pearls. I was only using them for end crystals. And I mean, how many end crystals do you need? You could stand at this thing for literally 30 seconds and have more than enough end crystals for like your entire lifetime. I'm not responsible for this, but this is incredibly gorgeous. This is really pretty. It's been a little while since I've been over here. This blaze farm, this no killing blaze farm is honestly one of my proudest farming achievements in this season. You see blaze, blaze are a little bit weird in that they don't drop blaze rods unless they're killed by a player, which is a bit of a problem when you're a player that can't kill things, but thankfully, Wolves kill blazes if the blaze shoots me first. So the blaze has to shoot me, or at least attempt to shoot me, then the wolf can kill the blaze. It doesn't count as a player kill on my statistics, which means that it's totally fine. Peace, love, and plants, baby. But it does count as a player kill on the blaze's end, which means it still drops a blaze rod. Fantastic. I had to spend many, many days working out how I was going to build this so that the wolf couldn't be killed by the blaze, but I could still be hit by the blaze, but then the wolf could hit the blaze. You know, there's there's all sorts of weirdness that has to go on here. I wasted a full day trying to do it with foxes as well, but unfortunately, foxes just... They just weren't reliable, so Wolf was the way to go, and I am super, super happy with how this design ended up working out. And that was the final piece of the puzzle that allowed me to get these things. The ultimate weapon for Hermitcraft Season 8. The guy who can't kill things was now armed with the thing that kills things the best. Man, this storage system is so cool. This is so cool. That roof is awesome. It looks like it goes on forever. Like, it makes the room look so much bigger than it is. And this room is big. And this alone is one of my coolest builds. You know, all of the builds that I've worked on have been my favorite builds. This is my favorite looking storage system. The exterior of my base is my favorite looking base. And I just, I'm, I'm really happy with how everything has kind of tied together. I just think it looks really good. I really, really do. I really, I really, really do. But you know, the world around us is falling apart and it is time for us to make an escape. I don't want to be sticking around here when this moon makes impact with the world because that will not feel great. You know, the whole world is being torn apart, but I'm starting to think that maybe actually this isn't the moon's gravity pulling the blocks up. The blocks themselves are actually deciding that they want to head out, you know? <laughs> it's like, I, I'm not sticking around for this, I'm off. Just one more time. Just for old time's sake, really. I mean... <laughs> forget my base, this might be the best build I did this season. Goodbye, peace, love and plant statue. Goodbye base, goodbye Giga base as a whole. I will definitely miss this incredible mountainous backdrop and I'm hoping that the place that we travel to will have an equally impressive mountainous backdrop. But with that being said, this right here, this is gonna be hard to top. Let's climb aboard Scar's magical rocket. What? What do you think? Oh, you look, oh we, why are we all crash dummies? Wait a minute! Why is Scar dressed as up as Crash Dummies? These aren't spacesuits? What? These are not spacesuits! <laughs> we look like Tess! Wait, wait, why do you have such a like, like, I always knew we were dummies, but I didn't know we were Crash Test Dummies! <laughs> I do I do appreciate the colour coding. The colour coding of the helmets, though. I mean, this, oh, this yeah. is I, pretty I cool. Oh, yeah, red helmet! Yeah. Okay, right, I, there's one thing I need to do before we go. It's been, I, it's been stressing me out all season. I don't yep. know how I've managed so far. But I've I've got I've got to do it. What? I just I can't take it anymore. <gasps> oh, oh, that did feel oh, pretty that's good. Better. Go. That I did feel good. You're next. I couldn't. I just it it was 
stressing me out. It was stressing me out the whole season. It's like a lever that hasn't been flicked. It's like yep. a button that hasn't been pressed. I yep. can't. I can't cope with it. Mumbo, can can I? Can, can, I? can we blow up this one? Can I do? That? I mean, can we do uh, I mean, you could. My no, little tiny okay, house. No, no, no. no I can't. Okay, no, I can't okay, bring okay. myself to do it. It's different. It's different. It's different. <sighs> Where's Scar? Look, we need to go. Can, I really want to do it. Scar? Scar's cat's here. Scar left his cat behind. <laughs> <laughs> he took diamonds over his cat. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm seeing another side of him. Scar, I don't know why we're crash dummies. I don't like the sound. I don't like the look of this at all. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> what is official first class swag and spacesuits? Have a little respect. <laughs> oh no! Uh, think about how much this cost you, Green. Come on now. Uh, yeah, it cost me everything I have. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Green. <laughs> is that what so you true. use the diamonds for? These suits. You should have said, Scar, Scar, just let's, oh, let's get in the rocket and then you need to explain why the rocket is the way it is. All right? What? Yeah, can we explain on the way sure, down? Let's go. Let's go. Are we going? Are we going? Are we going up? We're, going. We're, going. We're leaving. We're, going. We're leaving. Get out of this place. Oh, my goodness. Am I getting Inside Where the is the entrance? Everybody. Right here. Wait, where's the entrance? This does not ah. look like an airlock. There's gaps in it. It's, a, it's an official <laughs> Volkswagen airlock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting more and more concerned by the second. Let's it. Okay, the, these are all invisible for me, but they oh, are here. Yeah. Oh, there's, okay. a, there's something I need to I need to put in here. I've paid for this. I've paid right for this there. cargo. Right there. there we go. Oh. Take that with me. It was a spot for it. Oh, oh. it's over there. Oh, well, it's, too, it's, 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 it's too late, Scar. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's, it's, too it's far too late to move. <laughs> <laughs> all right, down to the cockpit, everybody. Down okay. to the cockpit. Oh, there's a cockpit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, we're oh, oh, hurry. <laughs> turbulence. Oh. Turbulence. Okay. Oh, no. Scar, what's Wait. going on? Oh, look at the destruction. I know Jelly's oh. here somewhere. She's meowing, but I don't know where. Anyway, welcome <laughs> oh. aboard the Swag and Rocket. This is how we're getting out of this world, by the way. I, I couldn't think of any other way. Um, mind you that this rocket is too big to go in the bottom, so I have an alternative plan. Hence right. the spacesuits. Uh. Please stand on the official trapdoors. Okay. Wait, there's only this four of them. This doesn't look like Mumble Green, you, get, you boys get together uh, over there. Okay. okay. Let's snuggle up, buddy. Mumbo. Let's Let's squeeze squeeze in. In. We're not going to fit here, Mumbo. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> We're not going to fit here. We're right. eating too many plants, Mumbo. Oh, you have, have, have to squeeze in, pal. All right. No, I'm trying my best. I can, I, I, can, I, can, I can do this. I can okay, do this. So you go in first. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I reckon we, we've got it. No, we've nailed it. eventually. Yeah, we've nailed it. Yeah, literally. They haven't nailed it. Good job, guys. <laughs> let's just continue like this isn't happening. It's fine. It's part of the experience. <laughs> I'll let you. I'll let you two work that out. <laughs> so, oh, we always had it. Oh, oh, you almost got it. No, we're both just not in it. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, fine, continue, fine. Scar. Continue. Oh yeah, rocket too big. So um, yeah, we're just gonna float down. Whoa, we're gonna float oh. down. Oh, yeah, we're gonna float down. <laughs> Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Wait, Goodbye, where are we supposed to go? Wait, Wait, I just watched Jelly just oh, tra Jelly. travel past oh, the screen. Jelly. Wait, this was <laughs> your plan, Scar. This goes all the way down. This yeah. was your plan. Oh, oh! I landed on the bottom hole. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. We're not good enough. We're not good enough. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, we're going in. I'm traveling. This is satisfying. <laughs> oh. uh, wait, we're, we, we are going to die. Bye, Bubbo. It's been fun. High five for all time's sake. <laughs> no, I can't believe you've just done that. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He can't even hear me. Now I'm gone.
Let's go, Potato Boy. <laughs> Woohoo! It's the boat and pole. It's the boat and pole. Oh, oh, it's the boat and pole. So for this season, I'm going to be all about the good energy, the good vibes. I'm going to be all about the peace, the love, the plants. Today is going to be I'm the day it. that I'm going to bring it back to you. No wax, just an axe. That's your slogan. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm now a potato. Does that end the war, by the way? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just just begun. You best not close those draw door. I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't care. Do you see how much I don't care? Tango's bedrock service. Oh, well. Oh, Brill. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? My bus has been my bus has been moved and it has become part of this. I mean, it definitely feels like this goes against the peace, love, and plants thing. What Stash. does the K stand for? Yeah, Mumbo kills a lot, Jumbo. That is. <laughs> 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 Have you been transported from the Egyptian era? <laughs> I was hoping that wouldn't happen. That is what. That's what I was hoping wouldn't happen. <laughs> I've lost. That's as much as we got. Wow. It's working. It is working! It's actually working! Wait, it's just this, this, and then... Oh! <laughs> this is the this. first time... Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> People are saying that my base plans look sus. Now I understand that you're all calling my base sustainable. Sus is an abbreviation of the word sustainable, and we are going for a sustainable, eco-friendly base. We're all about the peace, love, and plants over here. Wait, is that is that what I think it is? <laughs> Have I just accidentally found it? Ah! Oh, I forget that the egg does that. That's actually not bad. That is not bad. I'm really, really pleased. I, I, I cannot tell you how pleased I am. Hmm. Is this a donkey? I've just <laughs> I've just unraveled some ancient debris. <laughs> what? Bubba, are you in? Um, I'm going to think about it for a little while. No, he's good. He's oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. I'm yeah. going to do it backwards. Okay, cool. That's pretty nice. Just make sure you don't hit the fences. Don't hit the fences. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking right at us. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange potato man. <laughs> the only issue is my parents are still alive, but that can be changed. Do you have a fancy signature like mine? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just the best. Mumbo, now that we've got the horses, what do we do with them? Well, what do you mean? This is it. <laughs> this, was the plan. this is it. This is it. You've really done me in here. You've done me in completely. <laughs> oh, now that I have some like low budget diamond blocks as well. <laughs> <laughs> I run out of those as well. <laughs> Wow. 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 It looks, wow. It looks way worse from <laughs> down here than it did up there. Well, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm very proud of what I've managed to create in today's Hermitcraft episode. Let's go. He's off. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Grian, the commander. Of a new private jet. This was a bit of a monstrous project in the end, but I think we can all agree it looks fantastic. Make sure you That's don't fine. stand on the other launcher. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think. Hey, that's pretty good. The bottom hole. It's no longer. Oh, 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 oh! Mumbo, do I? <laughs> Green. Is the moon big? Look at the attention to detail on this old school prank. They taste very good. This is far better than a potato. I'm a changed man. <laughs> I'm a ch I'm a changed man. I'm doing this for the animals. I do feel a little bit bad though. You know, I know they died of natural causes, but I feel like I could have been the natural cause. Oh, it's actually there. That's actually real. That's actually me. Your signature, <laughs> your signature is amazing. That is absolutely fantastic. And absolutely, <laughs> that's actually very accurate for what that signature is. This is good. This is so cool. It's the peace, love, and plants monument. I, Grian, will kill Pork Boy to get out of here. He will stay as a pig, lol. I, Grian, 
willfully give over my soul to Mumbo so he is not a pig. Um... What? Graham? Do you not know what that button yeah. means? Do you, do you... Yeah, I, I, I get it. Do both of these buttons do the same thing? I'm going to have a, a soul smoothie at the end of this. Wow, I never oh, thought I'd have such Goodbye. a long... <laughs> Explain the life cycle of a frog using only ad adjectives. Waiting. Swimming. Jumping. Oh! <laughs> you gave me a wing! I'm now aerodynamic! Should you be CEO oh, oh. instead of Mumbo? <laughs> you, you got the response. You wanna know? Yeah, go on. What does it say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's getting his school photo taken. Despite the fact that it looks like a giant E, that's, that's meant to be a hand. And I'm patting myself on the back. <laughs> How cool is that? Like we've got the kind of dim light of all of the houses and then we have this beautiful glow on the top and then the statue itself is kind of like moodily lit. There's like pools of light and pools of darkness. The cinematographer inside of me is loving life. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit lost for words. There's a lot of things going on here, Green. You've you've become very wide. What is this? Mumbo Jumbo. His name Why is Mumbo are you? Jumbo. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! His name oh! Is <laughs> Can you tell me where Green puts his villagers? Here? You're saying there, you're not- What? <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> no! Why don't you just fire an egg at one of the, the end crystals or something? I think that probably- Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! Press the button! All right, we've okay, launched the missiles! That's, that's gonna take a while. Everything that could have happened has gone wrong. <laughs> I mean, I guess, do we count? I putting... don't think this could have gone any worse, Mumbo. No, well, I, I, I don't know. It depends. Oh, look, they're exploding. <laughs> look at that. We missed it's the It's all move. gone. I still, I still can't quite believe he just did that.